All right, uh, so this is the day after the patch, uh, Thursday the 28th. I was going to say 28th, and I checked that thing to, say, <laughs> to see if it was right. So I was right. Um, so yeah, it's very interesting. Um, events. Okay, so they gave us a bunch, a bunch of stuff here, like a bunch of random, just here's a bunch of stuff for free. Uh, I wasn't open these until now, so let's just take a look at these. Um, we're t we'll talk about like the the mystic stuff right now too. A bloodstone. I need another bloodstone. Um, oh, inventory's full. I'll be right back, I guess. Okay, uh, we're back. So we'll, let's try to look at this. Uh, let's see if we get anything. Is this a five star or four star ticket? Oh, it's a five star ticket. Or I don't know if it was a five star ticket, but I got a five star out of it, so that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if they're just gonna give away free. It says event up here. Like, are we just gonna keep getting a bunch of random stuff? Uh, I guess uh, while we're here, if anybody wants to see my new build, um, six k attack with uh, two forty, two thirty speed. Uh, again, still not that fast, but whatever. Um, if I can get, I think I get 7k attack with some refinements, some better gear, and then like max imprints. Uh, that'll take a while. And 7k is where I'd be comfortable with. Um, so we're just gonna feed uh, memory imprint uh, your violin in here. Uh, let's go see, we're at um, 3644. And give him this. We should be at somewhere, I think you get like 70, so we'll maybe at 37. 70 seems a little high, but we'll see. 70, so I, th I thought we were going to be at 700, so 44. So it's only like 40, yeah. Yeah, it's about 40, a little under 40. It's like 30 something, yeah. So I was, oh, okay, that's why. The 6% on the first one gave me 70. On the second one, we only got 3%, so it only gave me like half of 70. Um, like 35 ish, something like that. Uh, 37 ish, I think. Yeah, 37. Uh, which isn't too bad, mind you. Um, it's nice, but yeah. Um, I'm gonna need to get more merges on him. So anyway, let's move over here. Let's do our daily summon. I haven't even done the daily summon for this, just for the sake of doing this. Yes, free summon. Ooh, let's see if we get another violet. Uh, we got a hurt, which is fine. Okay, so let's take a look at this setup they have here. So this mystic summon, I th I thought. <clears throat> I thought was going to replace this. I thought just this this three week banner or whatever was going to be replaced by that custom mystic summon, and uh, yeah, that's what that was going to be. Um, the reason I bring it up and the reason I'm making such a thing about it is because that means that my pity on this is still at 47. Because I, I thought I could use my pity on this, which apparently I can't. Um, so this is kind of interesting. Um, it's going to be here for a whole month. Do I think I can get a pity in that whole time span? I don't. I don't. Not sure. Because um, you only really want a pity that you only really want to pull on this if you have a pity ready, right? Because otherwise you're just gonna pull and pull, dump all your resources into nothing, and then just gonna go away. Um, but yeah. So the thing is, uh, these are the next three here again. Tywin. If I'm gonna pull for anyone, it's gonna be for Tywin, just because I think he's gonna get buffed. Uh, I think the two. To fix them, you just need to put two here. Um, that's basically it. Maybe change his multipliers a little bit, like give him more um, health scaling, uh, and then just make him, you know, you know, I don't know. Uh, so let's go with you. Okay. Uh, so that's what that's going to be. Uh, unfortunately, the, the rotation right now is kind of ass. So we've got Calric, which I guess is good for Mediator Calric, but I just uh, skipped over that banner, so... <laughs> um, whatever. Durandal has never been good because they keep... This this right here is what's keeping this from being good. All they gotta do is take this off, and this artifact is suddenly useful. I don't know why they don't have to take it off. I don't... I, I just... I can't fathom what, you know, what they're thinking. Like, if you take this off, it's not even gonna be broken. Like... There's still going to be other artifacts they're going to use over this. It's just going to be a, a usable option. I, I don't really, you know. Again, whatever. It's fine. Uh, next week, we're getting this, which is like, who cares? Um, we're also getting Ray, which again, who cares? Uh, and, the, yeah, like, it's whatever. Who cares? Uh, so I guess let's, let's just set this up. Let's, um, I can't open shop. How do I? Okay, so we can pick here. Like I said, I am here for one person and one person alone. Well, I mean, I should probably pull for ML Lilius, right? But uh, I'm here for... 
Oh, she's not here? Where's ML Shermia? Sure. Yeah, I don't want any of these. Well, let's just take a look at them, I guess. A filter. Is there a way to filter one's duplicates? Okay, don't display duplicates. Right, these are the ones I don't have. Um, let's just talk about them for anybody. I uh, don't pull that unless you want her. Like none of these. Uh, we'll just kind of go over with the ones that are like more necessary. I mean, she's good. I mean, you know, you can use her, but it's more end game builds that you can that are utilizing her because you need a lot of speed and a lot of like attack so that this um, pen whatever this like extra damage inflicted or whatever. Um, and yeah, she's she's decent, but you know, I wouldn't waste a pity on her considering like Ran and Pieria just do what like you want to do with her, but slightly better. The only thing she takes, the only thing she kind of is useful for is like. Um, hitting um, Violet and uh, Violet or the Violets, right? Any dodging units, but Violet's kind of not that. I mean, I use Violet. I love using Violet for everything, um, just just cause. But um, he's kind of fallen off the meta, so it's important to realize that. Um, Last Rider Crow, I have him, and I actually like don't use him uh, just cause there's no one to use him on, right? You can use him against Rem. You can use him against um, what's her name? Uh, Bellion down here. Oh, there's even more. Oh, why was I... Wait, what the... F why was I all the way down here? Well, well, I guess we'll talk to him, talk about him. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I use them... You can use them against those, because they got AoE attacks, but the problem is they strip, which means that it doesn't really matter. Like, his immunity is basically irrelevant. The shield is irrelevant, because it strips it off. Um, yeah, so he's kind of like... Like, who cares, right? It's just... Nobody cares. He's just gonna get debuffed all to hell, because that, that immunity doesn't work anymore, and he doesn't give you immunity. I think the, the way to fix him would be to, like... This grants, like, this cleanses buffs and gives immunity. It doesn't have to cleanse all buffs. Maybe just, like, one or two, right? Uh, that, that'll probably put him back in the meta. Um, so, yeah. I think, I think I mean, that, that'll be, yeah, like I said, that'll be perfect. Because then all the debuffs that they're getting, and, you know, he gets that. And then, yeah, I don't know. But otherwise, he's kind of, like, fallen off. Just because he takes too long. Like, even, like, with all the AoEs, he still takes forever to get this to, like, do anything. It's annoying. Um, okay, so let's go over here. We'll start with her. Well, Ruel's kind of dead, um, especially with, with the new buffed version of uh, Destina. She doesn't do the same thing, but I, like Destina does a lot more because she revives and she heals like the whole party. And here, reviving and healing only one unit. There's not a whole lot of units in the game where like that one unit is going to just, just like bringing back that one unit is going to cause like a, uh, you know, cause you to win. Whereas bringing back like a whole team isn't too bad, right? Um, but that's, that's putting to one side revive mechanics in general, like, the whole revive, like, like, the fact that Maid Chloe is still, like, as out of meta as she is, despite the fact that she is the original, like, team-wide revive, um, is kind of just shows you where revive is right now. Um, so if a whole team being brought back with attack buff kind of has a hard time doing something, uh, Ruel is gonna be even less so. Um... But yeah, like, she's pretty good on stall comps, like, tanky teams, she's really irritating, but that's, like, if you get stall comp, that's because you lost in the draft, or you're not bringing the right team into, like, an arena game, right? Uh, so it's, keep, it's important to keep that in mind, right? Just, you know, Ruel's kind of falling off. Uh, Fallen CC is always going to be good because she can hold Aureus and gives shields like crazy. As long as she's here to, like, mitigate everyone's damage and just make, you know, be a huge damage sponge, I mean, she's going to be good. And then the, the skill nullifier is pretty good, right? Um, Judge Kise is kind of falling off. She's a pretty good. She's probably one of the better cleavers, but I mean, no one's cleaving right now. There's too much anti cleave, and there's too much like it's hard to outspeed the 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 top two, you know, Pieria and and Ran with like a CR pusher. So you know, you're kind of stuck using those two. Uh, a Vildred is kind of falling off. Of course, he's always going to be decent because he's a Vildred. I mean, he's just AOE cleaving. Of course, Dark Corvus is kind of dead. Yeah, single shot damage, but no one cares. Uh, don't no don't. You can pull for Sage Ball. He's pretty good. Um, I've been try. I was trying to use him, but I don't know. I feel like there's better options, but he's still really irritating. It's just that like now, people stack way too many buffs. Like he he strips one, he strips one, and then uh, sleeps them. But then it's like usually they just have enough to like not get the immunity stripped, and something else happens, right? Um, yeah, I don't know. He, he's decent, but you know it's not the best. Uh, of course, a Ravi still at the top. Uh, one of the only revivers in the game because she does something other than revive. She's just a good unit without that revive, and then the revive puts her over the top. Uh, the revive, not only that, but it revives. So she takes her turn. She takes out a unit, which is already a big swing in your favor. Um, she does huge amounts of damage. And then 
she gives she revives a unit with giving them skill null and giving them their turn. So like you take two turns in one because of her, and then you kill one of their units by and then you get one of yours. So it's a huge swing in the terms of like map state. Obviously that's like a a shooter or like a MOBA kind of thing, you know, addressing map state, but you know, in terms of the, like the, the way the team comp and all that stuff is worked, worded, um, you know, she does give she gives you a huge swing in terms of um, game state. I guess that's a better way way of saying game state. Um, so yeah, I think uh, if they're gonna nerf her, probably just take off the one hundred percent CR push because like this, the one hundred percent CR push is dumb because you already have skill null. Skill null is there so that his or his or her skill null is there so that that unit has a chance to make it to their turn to do their thing that they get hit twice right. Um, but the fact that you get skill no on top of the 100% CR push is, like, dumb. I don't know. I understand what that was. Uh, don't use Spez. He's lame. Uh, Ken is still pretty lame. Uh, she got buffed, but she's still pretty lame. Uh, again, like, she got buffed, but it basically, like, okay. Silverblade Blade is not, like, the worst unit, but she got buffed to do what she was already doing more. So in the places she succeeded, now she's succeeding even harder. But the problem is, where she was succeeding was a very thin margin. Like, it was hard to make that work, right? Keep that in mind. Um, made Chloe, of course, decent revive. But again, with Destina running around, now AoE reviving and whatnot, and full team healing as well. Uh, it's kind of hard to, like, recommend her. Um, and top of, like, the idea that, like, you know, all revives in general are pretty, like, lackluster. Given so much single target damage is running around these days, uh, S10A is a good um, is a good you know choice, right? Because she just has cleave here, a bunch of free damage here, and a, you know a stun here, uh, and then she can be countered, which again there's a lot of counter running around, so you know she's just overall a very good unit. Uh, so I'd probably recommend her. DJ Basar is outclassed by Calric, so don't pull DJ Basar. Um, like this, the I don't know, like this whole kid is just garbage now. Um, yeah, he just says, like, nobody cares. Um, Athletica used to be pretty good, but the problem is that there's so much speed creep right now that, like, she can't compete because um, everyone's... You can you can run her if you want, and if she goes first, you're good, but you're going to... You're 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 up against Ran and Pieria, and they're way too fast, so, you know, don't worry about that too much. Uh, Ambitious Tywin, like I said, uh, he kind of needs a buff. Doesn't need, like, a major buff. I think, you know, just dropping two debuffs from, with this... 100% uh, chance each for one debuff, right? We're pretty good. Um, or just make it can only be activated twice per turn or something like that, right? That'd be pretty good. Um, yeah. Uh, or, you know, actually just take out this can only be activated once per turn clause. That'd be hilarious. That'd be fun to watch. <laughs> um, he's just constantly debuffing or, yeah, uh, uh, buff or cleansing everybody. Uh, Little Queen Charlotte's still like the best single target uh, light nuke that you have. Um, he just one shots like you one shot her. If there's no Cecilia or something, you know, uh, you can you, a lot of times you can even one shot Cecilia's. Like you hit the Cecilia with the S3, and then the AOE splash damage is so much that like the Aureus kills her. Sometimes, not always, but sometimes. Uh, Blood Moon Haste, of course, she's the main reason why Revive is kind of dead because uh, she just gives you too much of a. Uh, it just shifts the game state in your favor too much. So you know, keep that in mind. Um, if you're having a trouble with survivors, uh, I would very much recommend him because every other one, like extinction, requires you to build the extinction unit and then do what that extinction unit's supposed to do. Uh, with Spez, it's obviously very difficult, but with someone like uh, who has extinction here? Where are you? You're no, that's not you. Uh, here, uh, is that the only one? Who else has extinction here? Someone else has it, I think. Unless nobody. That's crazy. That's crazy. Um. But top model, Lilica, again, she's good because she can go first, do her thing, uh, boost everyone up, do her thing, and then there you go. You get your revive off or your extinction off, right? Um, but, again, that's still a chance that, like, you don't kill the unit, right? Again, against Arby's, okay, yeah, you'll kill them. But against most units, like, yeah, you might not kill them, right? So, you know, here it's like, okay, just revive and we'll just beat you anyway, right? Uh, Remnant Violet's still pretty good. He's still really annoying. Um, again, he's a very coin flippy character because if he does his thing, if he dodges a lot... Uh, you win, and if he doesn't dodge a lot, you lose. That's basically how it works. Um, again, like I said, top model Lilica. If you want like an aggressive uh, revive counter, here you go. Attack buff to everyone. She's just like a really good unit in general. But you do need a lot. Like she's really high gear requirements because you need a lot of speed and you need a lot of damage. The damage you can kind of drop a little bit because she gives herself attack buff, but 
uh, you know, you still want as much damage as you can. Up Cigarette uh, used to be pretty good. Opener, uh, again, her speed is what, what killed her because... I, can I see? You can't see stats, but that's fine. The speed killed her because she's like 115 or something like that. She's not like a speed contester. She's just fast, right? There's a difference between fast and being a speed contester. She's fast, but not a speed contester. Uh, Archdemon Shadow, uh, an insanely irritating unit. Like, I hate this unit so much. She's just annoying. I, I wouldn't pull on her necessarily, but like, I hate when other people have her because she's just irritating. Like, you know, you're just going to be in for an irritating, like, um, match or whatever. Um, of course, if you have a little cute Queen Charlotte like I do, it usually just dumpster her. I mean, just nuke her. Of course, you know, in the draft phase, you know, you're going to deal with whatever, but, you know. Uh, Dilibet, of course, she's amazing. Uh, I would pull for Dilibet if I didn't have her. Um, I think I would recommend most people just pull for Calric over Dilibet, but I like her more than I like Calric. Um, uh, Solitaria is actually insanely good right now. She's beyond annoying. Uh, she stuns somebody, and then she hits, like, she constantly hits this off, and then she activates this, which is, is not counterable. It's an AoE, and it strips, and the debuffs come after the strip. It's insane. Like, ah, uh, it's just so annoying. Um, but yeah, she's just, she's just really good. Uh, so if you have her, you know, what I pull for her, not necessarily, because I'm not, like, a debuff kind of person, but if you like debuffing people, and you like kind of being annoying and being hard to, like, pin down, because, like I said, you can't be countered. Well, the, the S1, they can counter the S1, but then the S1 leads into the AoE S3, or S2 or whatever, I think... No, okay, so that's just an S2. That's just yeah, a second part of this. This second part can't be countered. Um, so you have a 20% chance to get countered, whether than like, you know, if someone AoEs, they have like an 80% chance to be countered, right? Almost 100%, right? Uh, so this is important to realize. But yeah, she's pretty good. Uh, again, Meteor Cowork, uh, he just gives you all the, you know, all the buffs, all the cleanses, and he's just insanely irritating. This barrier, you have no idea how irritating this barrier is. Uh, and then the CR push on this is really irritating. Uh, Strays is decent, but uh, he's really kind of only good in arena where you can just like pick your fights and then just have a one shot whatever you want. Uh, Closer Charles, uh, he's decent, but he does what he does, right? Like he he kills units at low HP once like the other the actual fast units kind of cleave and do whatever, right? Uh, but having a cleanup character is kind of dumb when you can just like wipe them all out. Again, Bellion is really good, so if you don't have Bellion, pull for Bellion. Uh, if you if you want her, um, she's just really annoying. On defense team, she's amazing just because she stops the um, the soul game, which is a huge thing. Spirit Eye, Celine, uh, she's fifty fifty. Thanks to thanks to um, what's her name, uh, Hua Young running around with Uber's tooth and her own like S one proc. Uh, the her like this survival thing doesn't mean anything like. That S1 proc penetrates this. So you hit her once and you do like 3,000 damage and then that second thing comes in and hits her for another like 5,000 damage. And then suddenly she just dies. She just gets one shot, right? Um, so yeah, there's, 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 a, there's too much that kind of stops this. Uh, and again, revive in general is not that good. The immortality is decent and the constant healing from this is pretty good. Would be pretty good if, uh, in fact, you know, we didn't have the problems of her just taking a lot of damage. Like, what's his name? Uh, Ramiru is also good for this, right? Because Ramiru hits her, does damage. She, like, counters. Okay, that's fine. She full heals, but his S, his true damage proc at the end of his S3, or her S3, uh, just kills her. Just one-shots her, right? So it's like, who cares? Uh, then Conquer Lilius. Uh, of course, she's, I mean, just doesn't need any introduction. If you don't have her, I feel you should probably pull for her. Even if you don't have good speed gear, even if you don't have good whatever gear. If you don't have good X gear, just, just pull for her. Like, it doesn't matter. Um, so I, ultimately, I'm just gonna go with her. I wanted ML Shermia because she looks like more, she's more fun. Um, but I guess, you know, I can go die. Uh, so we're gonna go with you, and we're gonna go with, uh, the only, I'm not gonna go through all these units because, you know, who cares. Um, I kind of want her, but I also kind of want, uh, oh, can I not? Oh, they don't have, uh, the new Armin on here. That's sad. Um, I'm just gonna go with her just because why not? I don't have her. There you go, perfect. Uh, view details, what does this mean? Once you summon at least one time after selecting your heroes, you will be able to change the guaranteed summon. Weird. Oh, that's sad. So th this doesn't even carry over either. Um, I don't really want to do this, but let's just pull one real quick. Wait a minute, this is kind of weird. What does this mean? 
What, what what's the pool? What's the pool that I'm pulling from? Is it just like the whole RGB spectrum? Like, what, what's the what's the? Hold on, let me see what we're looking at here. Cause like, okay, so I think it's just I think it's just Covenant Summon with those two focuses. Because right here, the RGBs are this. This is what you're pulling from. You're pulling from this, and these are thrown in there possibly. But here, so this is mean you're just pulling from everything. Oh, this is actually a high. Yeah, this is a pretty good. Um, yeah, that's a pretty high benefit uh, thing. I, I would I would probably dump all my my mystics into this because you still have a chance of pulling an ML five star in here. It's very low, mind you, but they're there. Conquer Lilius is a half is more than half of a percent. Half of a percent, one percent is one out of a hundred. Half of that one percent is one out of two hundred. So it's slightly more than one out of two hundred. Which the custom, well, that's basically what this is. It's actually better than this because, it's, well, actually, let's look at the rates. Kalric, or no, wait, what the, Mystic, what the, oh no, uh, Ambitious Time one. Okay, no, it's actually the same as this. Okay, but yeah. The pity, that's that's interesting because the pity is is pretty nice. It's pretty lenient, I think. No. Yeah. The pity is actually worse because this pity, if it reflected uh, this percentage right here, should be lower. So it should be like 180 or something. I don't know if it's that drastic, mind you, uh, but it should be like 190 or something. I mean, it's not a whole lot, but you know. Let's go look at the the coin shop. What can we spend our coins on? Yeah, basically just. Uh, and here's the pity. So 200 for for Commander Lilius. Um, I don't really know what to do because. This banner with these three are kind of like, who cares? And then the next three that are coming, I think, are also like, no one cares. Until you get to the end when I think Shermia is coming back at some point. Yeah, so these are kind of garbage. Again, I kind of want to pull for Ambitious Tywin just because, like, he's going to get buffed and he's going to be way too useful not to have. And I don't really want Conqueror Lilius, um, if I'm honest with you. But I think I'm just going to pull for her anyway. We'll, 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 uh, we'll do some. I've been... I've been here for too long just talking, so we'll just uh, we'll do some of these. Let's see if I get any five stars. Four stars. Oh, I got a five star artifact. Hey, look, there's the idols cheer. Uh, so that wasn't too bad. Um, yeah, let's try again. Yeah, because you can still get MLs out of this, which is pretty cool. Um, of course, these are all garbage. I might just—I'm probably just gonna dump them all in there. Uh, this was bad. This lasts all month, so whatever. I really don't like Commander Lilius. I want to put that out there. Um, I'm pulling her just because—I mean, if they're giving me a chance to pull her, I mean, may as well, you know. Oh, there's a five-star artifact. Ooh, let's see what we got here. It's keep skipping them. I'm, I press on accident. Wow, I got two five-star artifacts. Not bad. It's nay bad. Wow, there goes all my mystics. That was crazy. Um, you get summon happy, and then that happens. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna dump them all in here, just because this is a pretty good value for your mystics. Um, all the people who have been saving like a whole pity, like 10k mystics. I mean, this is this is your this is your your thing here, right? This is where it's at. Because then you could, I mean, you could pull, especially because, like, Commander Lilius. Let's see, do I have more? Okay, no, I don't. Because Commander Lilius, like I said, Commander Lilius here has a 0.6% chance of coming out. Um, But you can pull other stuff in between that. And if you pull her, you'll still have enough coins to just pull a second copy of her. Now, why would you do that? I don't really know. Modification selection gem. Very interesting. Um, what is this leaf? Uh, but yeah, so hopefully that was interesting. Uh, you guys could see how this works and what maybe gave you guys some thoughts on who to pick. Um, like I said, hopefully I think I'll be able to build another pity by the time. Uh, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So if anybody wants to know if I'm gonna keep summoning on this, I'm probably going to. But what I'm gonna do first is make sure I have enough to pity for whenever these these like I think it's like the next two or three rotations. So whenever they go away, I'll have enough to pity uh, ML Shermia if she's in there. She should be in there. If she's not in in the in at if she doesn't come out at some point, then again, obviously I'll just have um, Mystics left over for uh, ML Vivian, um, which isn't bad. 
But any other any other Mystic Medals on top of that that I gain that are more than that are going to go into this banner. Um, we have a month. Again, I don't think I'm going to be able to reach Pity in a month, which that kind of sucks, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, and all these coins are going to be gone. So this is... Actually, I have to dump them all into here, right? Because all these coins are going to be gone if I don't... Uh, if I don't keep pulling on here, if I don't, if I'm, if I, eh, I'm tripping over my words here. If I don't use the coins up to buy one of these, then all these coins are going to be gone. Um, so yeah, that's kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, I think uh, that I got pretty good rates. I got like three or four five star artifacts, which is crazy. But um, uh, yeah, that's basically all there is to it. Hopefully, you guys uh, have better luck than I do. Um, I don't know, I'm probably going to do a showcase for Lilius if I get her, show her off in, like, Guild War or something. Um, not to mention, we have all those, like, Mystic Medals in the uh, in the mail that are coming, so that's cool, too. Uh, Till then, I'll see you guys uh, next time.